Now, the weekend rains brought serious flooding to parts of Lagos mainland. Yeah, I know the island people are laughing at the mainland people now. Well, as well as parts of Port Harcourt, Enugu, and cities in southern Nigeria, Uber responded by announcing a new service. <laughs> yeah. The government also reacted swiftly by bringing out its wet bag of old tricks and issuing the usual press releases and weighing in on the issue. Those portions that are affected, we have to look at the design again and probably uh, begin to think of raising the level of the road at those points. This is a big wake-up call. This is a great opportunity to, to really put this on the agenda and see how we factor it into budgets. And now is the right time that we have change. In some areas, our, I mean, I mean, as some drainages are still being constructed. As of last, this time last year, we had over 227 complaints. Today, we had 31 complaints which means we have, made, we have made a lot of progress. I could go on and on and on, but so can they. <laughs> government, uh, <laughs> government always seem to be taken by surprise by something that is sure to happen again every year. You know, exactly like that, your cousin, who is surprised every time that Jam Resort comes out and he feels <laughs> like he prepared enough. All right, the flooding of Lagos Island two weeks ago was supposed to be a wake-up call. But of course, we refuse to stay woke. And rather than make the floods a major issue in the local elections and participating in the process, this is how the youth chose to react. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, here we are. Between the last floods and the next one, drowning in government promises and throwing garbage into gutters and canals. Did you like the show? Just click here, here. Yeah, click here to subscribe. Hmm? Click here, here. It's Udo Shakara. <laughs>